Sexy Knives headed to Action Concepts in Austin, Texas. To Genesis T, we'll talk about the different variations and some custom Theseus. These are first gen. I'll show you what makes them the first generation and talk about the different customizations and finishes and options. Let's first uh, highlight who this is going to. James Marsh at Action Concepts. Email is bodromarsh at hotmail.com. And uh, he's in Austin, Texas. He does not have a brick and mortar store. He is eBay only. But uh, feel free to give him a call or text him at 512-925-3711. And let's go into a little bit of detail here. So I have a Genesis TS35 Tonto Satin with PVD handle and spring and a brushed clip. So a very nice kind of tuxedo style polished. I know this is what we call tuxedo, but I kind of like this better as maybe my James Bond knife. A little bit more polish, a little bit more uh, top tier, and this is a little more tactical. The 3V PVD drop point is the way that our drop points are offered in any Praetorian model. 3V PVD drop, PVD handle spring and breaker, and clip. So the only thing not coated on this is the hardware, including the shoulder pin. And on this, we have the shiny with the matte. So two very cool Praetorian Genesis T knives. And then of the Theseus, this is first generation. And what defines that is the D2 blade steel and first generation clip. So if you are a fan of the first gen clip, which we won't be making anymore, this group has it. PVD coated on the clip, hardware, Bronze anodized handle and spring with a hammered bolster. The second one here is a uh, heavily tumbled PVD blade. This is our previous coatings company, and that's why that tumbled PVD looks so different than straight up PVD. I'm going to show you the difference and talk about why we won't be able to achieve that anymore. So this was our previous coatings company, our current coatings company. Um, the PVD coating is almost impervious to tumbling. Not all, you know, not completely, but it takes a long time and doesn't achieve this same kind of antiqued feel to it. So if you really dig it and you like this knife and you like the first gen, tumble PVD blade, blue anodized handle and spring, the hammered sculpting has violet and blue variants, a black PVD clip. This one here has a blue to violet fade. The violet fades almost to a bronze on the handle. Standard titanium clip. Uh, this is one of my favorites. Uh, it looks like an OD green almost. It's like, you know, I think it is. So we have discontinued, or we only maybe came out with four or five successful knives with the OD green uh, anodizing handle and spring. And I think it happens now only by accident. But what is really cool on this is that the peaks on the handle are polished blue and the recesses are this OD green. And then if you take a look at the uh, perimeters, they're polished and blue. I think it's a great, not only a great color contrast, but the texture as well. Very cool. And then the last one here, pretty classic. Again, a tumbled PVD blade, bronze anodized handles. The bolster's been polished, so you have a difference in texture and sheen. This has got a polished look to it. This is just tumbled. And then the perimeters are jimped or hammered all the way around. Clip PVD. All right, so those totally awesome Theseus knives and a couple of Genesis T headed out to Action Concepts today. It is a Friday. They'll get packed up and they'll probably hit uh, James's homestead in Austin on Tuesday is my guess, Thursday, uh, Wednesday at the very, very, very latest. So reach out to James and see what you can get your hands on. Keep watching the vids. And until the next time, I'm out.